Hello, this is Marjorie Wildcraft with Lynn Gillespie. Lynn Gillespie from The Living Farm, and I'm with The Grow Network, and we are continuing our adventures yes. in high-performance gardening. And I just wanted to show you what can happen <laughs> if, you don't, if you don't harvest your zucchini. Yes. Oh. Zucchini noodles. A zucchini noodles like Best this. thing in the world. You know, we could cut the bottom off here and create a little bowling thing. I mean, there's all kinds of bowling options pin. that you could do. This actually still got a lot of good we could edibility. stick it in the, in the cars at the library. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go by and check the ones that are not locked. Slip in the zucchini. Shove them in the zucchinis, yeah. yeah. No, make noodles, seriously. Okay, oh gosh, even this big, they're still good. Oh, yeah, yeah, totally. For noodles, that's what I use. And then look at these, these little guys. They're oh, like, aren't they cute? They're the cutest little squash. Look at that. Sun shines. There you go. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> yeah, little sunshine squashes. So, huh? I have three questions for you today. Uh-oh. Are you ready? Only three? Only three. Okay, I'm Only ready. Three. You lay them on me. Let me see what I can... Okay. Okay. The first one is, how is your harvest? Um, so, you know, there's three different answers you could get. Okay. <laughs> have you been satisfied? There's the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> there's the expensive answer and there's the discount answer. Right. Let's have it. No, I'm going to give you the right answer. The harvest has been amazing. It has really been amazing. I mean, really. I'm just, 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 it's been prolific. That's a lot of food. There's a it? lot of food. I have been giving away armloads. <laughs> I've, my freezer is like filling up. Yep. And, uh, you know, I'm, I've been eating, I've been eating a lot of fresh food. Very delicious. So fun, harvest, isn't it? Fantastic. Having fun? Yeah, 150%. Great, great. Okay, second question. Second question is, <laughs> how hard has this been? This has been really, really, really easy. This yes, is easy. It's time. really easy. It's something so small, so manageable. It's definitely that principle of just have something small and high intensity because then it's just so much easier to manage. Yeah. Yeah, okay. that's why I love these gardens. Third one is, how many weeds have we been pulling? I know, you got the weed jar. <laughs> this is not the kind of weed jar you're thinking of. Even it's the other kind called. of. This is the other, look at that, isn't that amazing? From this garden. It was from this garden. Which There's is, only been this many weeds that we've hoarded. So we are over halfway through the garden season. Mm -hmm. And usually by this time, most people's gardens are so weedy they could lose a small car in them. I could show you one of my other <laughs> gardens that fits that description. And so that's exactly this yeah. is the beauty of the high performance garden is right now is when you see it performing higher than all the other gardens. So the production's up, the garden's easy, and we're not having to weed. You know what I realized about this garden uh, the other night too is we have not we have lucked out with my electric dogs. Yeah. We have not had any um, real predator protection no other than predators. the bugs. Just a few bugs. Now here we have there. been working on yeah. the bugs. That and, happens. And we give them Jack Daniels whiskey, <laughs> and they all get drunk, and they go into the bug party jar, and um, that's how we've been handling that. It's not that. real whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> what is that Jack stuff you call it? That's it's Captain Jack's dead bug brew. There it's you go. a bacteria that's put on the plants, gives the bugs a bellyache, they stop eating, and they die. And so it, it's organic. It's working. You know, yeah. between that and then we, before we, we do these shoots, we, we, we kind of pick a few. We hand pick a few just to. Check them just out. Just our weekly maintenance is mm -hmm. what you do to keep a garden like this going. It's just a little weekly maintenance. Yeah. Well, here you can have the, the weed jar back. Well, yeah. Don't I smoke that. Off no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not that kind of weed. Yeah. Yeah, no. So the predator protection has been awesome. Now, I have been closing the big gate at night, although I don't think with as busy and active as, a, as the town is right now yeah. that there's any deer pressure. I think they're up in the mountains right yeah, now. Yeah, they've got better yeah. places to go right now. Yeah. And, um, this okay. fall with the apples, they might come back, though, in hunting season. Yeah. And um, really, this, this low fence with the electricity has been keeping out the raccoons and the other things. But we've had a pretty good moist spring. So the key thing with most of those predators is that your garden isn't the only green thing for miles. And so there's yeah. been a lot of other greenery. So this year, the predator protection has been a, bit, a little, little bit low. But I've been like, that's, this has really been a good... It's been, yeah, it's, a great been, year. it's been a good year. And you can do this year after year after year. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. We got so much. We're going to send you the whole chart at the end of it, but right now there's a big cabbage, and I'm going to harvest that oh, one yeah. on time. If you remember, the other right two. Right here. 
Yeah. That baby's ready to go. The other two we did a little bit late and um, I wasn't feeling real well and that turned into a very stinky mess. <laughs> I don't recommend ever doing that. We're going to get this one on time. It's always, anything that you don't use is always compost. It's always valuable. It's always there valuable. There you go. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, your garden is looking great. You're doing a beautiful job. What do you spend out here? Five, ten minutes a day, maybe? That's the best ten minutes of my day, every day. Really, it's not even that long. You're right. It may not even be five minutes. Yeah. Really, I'm just coming to water, kind of checking on a few, harvesting. Harvesting and processing has been more yeah. than that, though. Which, that's the fun part. Yeah. 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 Yay. And as we've talked about, I've incorporated that. Like, you know, if I'm making myself some squash, I just go ahead and make a bunch of other portions and freeze them. That's what I do. I do a double batch. Yeah. I eat half. Half goes in the freezer. And I, we just, just do that every night. Just get that process. And it just automatically, just all of a sudden the freezer's full. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Yeah. I love it. This winter yeah. is going to be like easy. Yeah. So cool. Cool. So the only thing that we need to do yet is replant some lettuce. Yeah. Which we'll get some plants next week. I was supposed to bring them this week, but memory failed me. Whatever. So we'll, we'll get those in next week. Early Alzheimer's. <laughs> No, I eat my greens. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, well, well, I have a surprise for you next week. A big announcement next uh, week. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm not letting the cat out of the bag this week. Oh, I'm <laughs> going to have a kitten reunion next week. Really? Yeah, you remember oh, the kittens that we had? Yeah. Early? They're all, all their owners are coming back together. We're having a kitten reunion. Oh, good. I'm going to be so excited. I'll get some footage of it for you. You'll have the cat out of the bag. <laughs> I'll have the cat out of the bag. All right, so next week we're looking forward to that big, um, big, big announcement. announcement. Next week, you're going right. to like it. All right. Yeah. Well, we'll see you all next week in the next edition of Adventures in High Performance Gardening with Marjorie Wildcraft and Lynn Gillespie. Or it could be with Lynn Gillespie and Marjorie Walker. Yeah, we've already decided who the sidekick is. <laughs> <laughs> See you all next week.